four balloons. Of oh no! Oh, there's a hole. There we go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today we are reviewing the Party and Corporation Christmas Balloon Garland Kit. I did work with this company multiple times and I like their kits. Today we are diving into this balloon garland kit. We'll see how it will perform, what it has, how much it costs and everything in between. Let's jump into it. So this is what I am reviewing today. This kit looks very festive, very red, white and gold. It includes 143 pieces and it will cost you $24.99. You can always hit this little box over here to save yourself $2. Why am I saying it costs right now $24.99? Because you never know when prices will change. We are working with three sizes, latex balloons, 12, 10, and five. And in the mix of all these latex balloons, we will have some of the foil balloons like gold stars and candy balloons. So very curious to know how it all will look like. And before we go, let's look into this box that I received from the party and corporation. So as we open, we see a whole bunch of stuff inside. So first things first, the fishing line to help us attach our balloon garland to whatever we are planning to attach this garland to. We have these tubes and somewhere at the bottom we have bases for these tubes. These are great if you want to place something on a table or have an extra kind of like a centerpiece or you know, something to decorate with. These are great. I won't be using these in today's video. I will pass on these. And we have a whole bunch of balloons over here. It's pretty heavy, has some weight because there's a lot of balloons. Balloon tying tool. You guys, I can't believe what I'm seeing over here. Do you see what I see? Two rolls of glue dots. Usually companies include one roll of glue dots and one roll of glue dots never enough for me. I always reach for my own glue dots to finish certain balloon garland kit. And I am happy, you guys. This is so awesome and will be so handy. Thank you so much for hearing what I have to say in every single video. Thank you, The Party and Corporation. Then we have some of these guys over here that you attach to your tubes and then you interwind your balloons into it and that will form this beautiful balloon bouquet. Balloon strip to construct our balloon garland and hand pump if you don't have electric balloon pump this is very handy and just because this kit includes some foil balloons this will be perfect because i never use electric balloon pump for my self-sealing orbs foil balloons because those balloons have that thin plastic insert in them and when hot air from electric balloon pump hits that insert I can ruin my balloons and those inserts can be destroyed and balloons will start deflating. So I never use electric balloon pump, hand pump, I like it. And that's basically all that we have in this box. Let's go and construct this thing. Seems like I can't let you go, you guys, but I promise I have good news. So along with my kit that the Balloon Party Incorporation sent to me, they sent another kit over here for you guys to enjoy. So we are having another giveaway. You guys stay tuned for all the rules. Nothing's going to be crazy, but I will be checking if you followed all of them. Stay tuned. Now let's go construct this for real. <laughs> All ready to inflate my balloons. I am using my electric balloon pump. It's a Zoom. I got it from Laura Del Pibre and Balloon Company. If you would decide to purchase anything from Laura Del Pibre and Balloon Company, you can absolutely use my code Anastasia10 for 10% off at checkout. This is an affiliate code and it's totally up to you if you want to use it or not. This code is valid only for your first purchase and if you are a new customer to Laura Del Pibre and Balloon Company. All right, since we are working with a balloon strip, we need to inflate our balloons individually and tie them individually using this balloon tying tool. So here's what I'm doing. 
setting the box aside because we don't need it right now. Grabbing our balloons and inflating. Once you're done inflating your balloon, use your balloon tying tool to tie a knot. If you want a rounder shape out of your balloon, then press your balloon against the floor. This step is completely and totally uh, optional. You don't have to do that. Some people like more elongated looking uh, balloons and that's totally fine. I like mine to be a little bit rounded. So that's why I am doing this. If you will be over inflating your balloons and then want to press against the floor to get the rounder shape out of your balloon, I don't think it will work. Just let some air out and then press against the floor because you would stretch your balloon way too much and it will not give that stretchiness to you to get that uh, rounder shape out of the balloon. So I hope that makes sense. Let's inflate. latex balloons now let's inflate our foil balloons i am using a hand pump that was included in this kit if you watched the beginning of this video then you know why i am using a hand pump to inflate all of my self-sealing foil dwarves balloons so let's just inflate them with our hand pump and we'll be moving on to construct this whole thing i think i will be trying something different different then a balloon strip. We'll see. Okay, you guys, so I feel like I want to make this balloon garland with clusters like I usually do instead of using balloon strip. I want to try something different and kind of step away from your typical balloon garland kit DIY. So let's uh, uh, pair our balloons together Making two pairs of balloons and I am interwinding them together you guys when you're doing this with these balloons be careful not to pull too hard on them because I pulled one of the balloons a little too hard and ripped a hole just because these are a lot thinner than Qualitix, Vitalitix or Tuftix. So I'm taking another pair and adding into this quad. Quad is four balloons together. Now I have six balloons, this small cluster over here. Now I am thinking to add maybe one more to create a bigger cluster. So I will probably play around with making different sizes of clusters just to you know, have some variety. So this is what you will be getting. Keep on. Uh, cluster in your balloons. Let's go. To construct our balloon garland, I am grabbing my first cluster. As you can see, there's a lot of balloons and a lot of knots going on over there right in the middle. I am reaching in and finding the longest neck of my balloon in there. Grabbing my second cluster and doing exactly the same thing, looking for that longest neck. Grabbing these necks and tying them together. And this is how I will be constructing my balloon garland. This technique is awesome because you don't have to fill in spaces later on as much as with any other technique. And this is how it looks after you will tie them together. And this technique does not involve any of the 260s to construct and any of other string. Uh, so this is perfect. So this is what I have so far. Keep on reaching in, keep on tying other clusters, and in no time you will construct your balloon garland. struggling to construct this balloon garland with the technique that I showed you. These balloons were ripping on me left and right while I tried to connect clusters together by tying necks of balloons together. So I am switching to a fishing line that was included in this kit and I will be finishing up my garland with this fishing line. Why ripping? Because these balloons are thinner than Qualitix, Tuftix or Vitalitix. So, so I don't know. We'll figure something out. We'll make something beautiful out of it.
The fishing line technique brings a lot of a lot of memories back. I started making my balloon garlands with fishing line and then I advanced and started using different techniques. So here's what I'm doing. I'm taking my fishing line and tying this fishing line to my cluster. You guys, if you have a spoolie of fishing line, make sure you keep it in a loose pocket. That's why I always use my apron that Lori Del P Rain Balloon Company sent me. It is extremely handy because you put the spoolie into your pocket and all of this fishing line is not going to tingle on you and it's not going to go around your balloons around already made balloon garland. It will save you so much time and uh, it won't be such a mess. Once I have my fishing line tied to my balloon garland, I'm taking another cluster of balloons, putting right at the end of my balloon garland, applying a little pressure to make sure balloons get really close together, just like this. Grabbing my fishing line and starting to wrap the fishing line around a newly placed cluster. Once, again, around older balloons. To give my balloon garland more tightness and to have balloons nice and close together, I need to pull on my fishing line and push my cluster against all of the balloons that I have behind the cluster. Be careful how hard you will pull on fishing line because fishing line, even curling ribbon, can't cut your balloons and they will start deflating. So I am pulling on my fishing line, pushing that cluster, not too much, but enough for the balloons to sit nice and tight together. Again, grabbing my fishing line and going around some of the balloons. You guys, to find your own technique, something that works for you, you need to experiment with different techniques to find the technique that works for you. I tried probably every single technique under the sun, almost, and I like to tie the necks of balloons together. It works better for me. So I stopped using fish line. All right, once you're done, uh, wrapping your fishing line around newly placed balloon and older balloons grab your fishing line and then wrap around one of the balloons a couple of times to stop fishing line getting loose when fishing line will get loose your newly placed cluster will start sliding and you will lose that uh, really nice packed feel of your balloon garland so this is basically what I will be doing again and again. I will be placing clusters and wrapping my fishing line to secure those clusters. Secure my balloon garland, I got a long piece of a fishing line. I'm holding my fishing line with one hand, with the other, I am grabbing the tail and wrapping my fishing line around one of the balloons. Now I have this loop over here, grabbing the tail of my fishing line and feeding through the loop, pulling on the fishing line tail. And voila, I have a knot. Do this a couple or a few times to make sure your balloon garland is completely secured. My balloon garland is on my backdrop. It's looking very good. I like the shape that I got out of these balloons. Now it's time to fill in spaces with the rest of our balloons. I did leave two clusters and one quad of balloons outside of my balloon garland because I want to place them strategically on my balloon garland and fill in spaces and give this balloon garland more curve and more shape. I will be using glue dots that were included in this kit. You guys, I am using a whole bunch of them per balloon because I want to be sure that my balloons will stay on my balloon garland for a long time. I will be using glue dots on my five inch balloons and I will be using glue dots on my foiled balloons. With foiled balloons, you need to be careful when you're using your glue dots because glue dots don't like to stick to foiled, smooth, very glossy surfaces. So you need to place your 
uh, paper with a glue that on a balloon and then scratch it to make sure that glue that will get that grip on a balloon and then peel your paper slowly to make sure that that will stay on a balloon. All right, let's go. for you guys today this is my final balloon garland let me know what you guys think about this kit in the comment section below and here are my final thoughts if i would talk about latex balloons they are pretty decent quality if i would compare them to any other balloon garland kit that i've reviewed on my channel i lost four latex balloons and i haven't lost any of the foiled balloons so i am happy about that i used a little bit more than a roll of glue dust to construct this whole thing and i am not too sure about these gold balloons over here on the camera they look a little bit different they look more the same gold color than in real life these gold stars are more on a yellower side than these chrome balloons i like to use the same gold in my balloon garlands just to be on the same line of gold and not to add any other shades of any other colors just to keep everything in line for me i don't know maybe it's just me if you look at this candy right here and compare this to the red balloon it's not really red it's more of a pastel red or more like of a pinkish tone red and if you would look on those candy canes they are red and this one's not so i wish that these two candies were the same color maybe it's just me again overall you guys i like the concept i can see where they were going with this and it's looking cute right so everything will be linked and listed in the description under this video and uh, some pictures will be at the end of this video as well and to finish this video off here are the giveaway rules and so nothing crazy but i will be checking you must be subscribed to my channel follow me on instagram diy that with that anastasia in a comment section below leave your instagram handle and word giveaway so i would know that you want to enter in this giveaway also give it a thumbs up and that's about it this giveaway will go in on for a week and it's open internationally good luck everybody and um, have a good night see you in the next video